Hello you! Guru Larry here to stamp on your rose tinted spectacles by pulling out your favourite films and showing you how rubbishly made they are with movie mistakes. This week I'm going to resurrect everyone's favourite, well unless you're Lou Schreiber, Paranormal Exterminators, Ghostbusters. The hilarious 1984 comedy about four self-employed exterminators who dedicate their lives to denying restless spirits who suffered horrific deaths on achieving their unfinished business by sealing them in a small metal box in Lower Manhattan for all eternity. And all for the benefit of the upper class who simply considered them a nuisance. Hmm. Visible Equipment during the library scene, where the Ghostbusters are walking towards that old woman out of awakenings, it must have been a really busy day for filming there, or Ray is extremely professional about recording statements, as you can quite clearly see a set lamp and a large light reflector tart behind his head. Continuity slash recycled clip. As beautiful as Central Park is in New York, they do have a terrible plague of people being super glued to the grass there. As in this shot, after the guys agree to rent the fire station, look, there's two people there. One in white, and another in dark. But yet, much later in the movie, when the clouds are appearing over the New York skyline, lo and behold, the two people are still there. They couldn't have recycled the same clip now, could they? Visible Crew You think it's just the Environmental Protection Agency that wants to shut down the Ghostbusters. An employment agency might want to have a look at them too, as they're quite clearly lying about the number of staff they employ. As in this scene where Dana arrives at the Ghostbusters offices, Janine has suddenly gained an assistant hide behind the filing cabinets. Hello, I can see you! Montage Mistake It appears that the New York Post photographers have access to time travel in this film as the picture on the cover of their newspaper during a montage scene, it's quite clear that the Ghostbusters huddle together fighting Goza. And that doesn't happen till the end of the movie! Also, there's no photographer up there with them at the end either, so how does the photo even exist? Visible Equipment One dream of mine is to have a train track attached to my armchair, so I can move around my house without ever having to stand up ever again. Just like Dane has in this scene, where she's being dragged into the kitchen by one of the hellhounds. <laughs> Creepy triple plot hole! Later on when Peter discovers Dana has been possessed, he rings Egon to tell her he sedated her with Thorazine. I just whacked her up with about 300 cc's of Thorazine, she's gonna take a little nap now. But so begs the creepy questions, what intentions did he have taking Thorazine on a date with him? And how did he get it as he's a doctor of psychology and parapsychology, therefore unqualified to prescribe drugs? Also, 300 cc's equates to one third of a litre of the substance, which obviously is a fatal dose for any drug, let alone Thorazine. And a syringe is only big enough for three cc's, so he would have to carry 100 syringes with him to give her that much of a dose. <laughs> Obvious Stunt Doubles In the 2009 Ghostbusters game, I always wondered why the Ghostbusters sounded like fat old men in it. But now I realise it was simply because they used their stunt doubles, just like they clearly do in this earthquake scene. Harmless Boulders It's a good job Dana's build is constructed out of polystyrene, as that huge piece of falling rubber would have totally destroyed this police barrier. No wonder the building harvests such evil if it's made entirely out of unrecyclable material. Marshmallow Man's Changing Dress Sense Love or hate the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, you can't deny the fact he takes pride in his personal appearance. As in this scene, where he's wearing his red bow tie, when the Ghostbusters start shooting at him, in this shot, he respectfully takes it off. Probably to make sure it doesn't get covered in marshmallow goo. Physics fail! And last, but certainly not least, a good old fashioned plot hole. At the very end of the movie, the Ghostbusters stream's explosion causes a blast wave across the top of the building, blowing everything out, including the marshmallow man into the street. So in the next scene, why are they all covered in marshmallow? 
He was behind them and was blasted away from the Ghostbusters, not towards them. No. What happened? So that's all the big mistakes for Ghostbusters. There are many more continuity errors and the odd factual error, but these are the best examples. Anyhow, let me know what you think of the show in the comments below, whether you'd like to see more, and if you have any suggestions for future films to cover in movie mistakes. But I've been Guru Larry. Goodbye, and good go- Um... I'll have to think of another catchphrase now. Oh, bloody hell.